just running through the set list for uh, the three shows coming up in uh, April. All right, so we got a few people here. Let's see. Uh, okay, cool. All right, well, welcome everyone. Who we got here? Igor, Prakar, um, Orez, Ian, Mike, TV, Nata Natasha Kuprashvili. I assume that's a Georgian name. Ishvili on the name of a, on the end of a name usually indicates that, that it's a Georgian name. I think maybe I'm wrong. That's what I've heard. A Russian name. We'll just call that. I, I don't know how to pronounce that one. Hero, Eric, Jennifer, Alejandro, Aaron's Drone Services, Billy from Eugene, Zach, Richard. All right, cool. Always start with the classical stuff to kind of get going. Thank you. 
someone's saying, where am I playing in April? All around uh, Eastern Canada. So just like three shows. Uh, one's going to be in Maine in a play, uh, at, a, at a Unitarian church in Holton. And then uh, a place in Woodstock, New Brunswick. And then uh, a winery event somewhere near Fredericton. might be better to go to the Woodstock one because the Fredericton one I think is actually like the winery has something where you, I don't know I think, I think the tickets are fairly expensive it's part of like a wider event
I'm going to switch it up and then come back to this uh, in a moment. One second. Let me just shut off the audio so you don't get hit with the sound of the cable being unplugged. There's a few pieces that I find I play better if I like play the other stuff and then come back to that. I don't know why it is. Let's pull up the window. In terms of Western Canada or like anywhere else, the thing is, is that I guess the, the cost of travel is like skyrocketed. So, I mean, yeah, that would be, uh, I don't know. And a lot of people would have to show up for the promoter to uh, want to invest in it. That's the thing. If people pool money together, then yeah, but that's pretty much what it comes down to. North Shore, Nova Scotia, pretty cool. Let's play with the pick for a little while. Caprice number one. Southern New Hampshire, Massachusetts. Yeah, no, uh, New Hampshire. That's fairly close to here. That, that, that's a doable drive. Let me see here. I want, I want to do Moon River Reel. Hold on. Thank you. 
So, mm, okay.
Oh, that's a, yeah, odd man out. Right on. We got some from Poland, Rafalski, how you doing? Honestly, I don't know uh, Silver Thaw anymore. I mean, I don't think ever, I think maybe I played it live like once, like when I was in living in Newfoundland years ago. Just kind of let it go. Yeah, I don't know. It just, I would have to devote a lot of time to like learning it. pieces remain as finger style jams I don't know would that work maybe bits of them like I need new strings never played Capriccio Arabe no believe it or not no I played Capriccio with Diabolico though There's that quote from the Grand Sonata in it. Caprice number two.
All right, now. Um... <clears throat> Thanks a lot, JK. Right, I'll try the seven string out now. Uh, I'll shut up the volume for a second.
someone was mentioning it. Yeah, there's no uh, no woodpecker visit today so far. It's raining out like a lot. Thank you. 
uh, seven string uh, A2 number one. All right, switch it up again. Uh, here we go. Oh no, sorry, I uh, forgot to unmute. I'm, uh, I'm not familiar with Jake Workman. Got a whole bunch of evening grow speaks outside right now. I might be able to even hear them, because they're loud. like an older one.
right, so I got. Uh, I may as well stay in this tuning and do a few that are closely related to it. actually um, playing a bit of the uh, a couple of the licks in that in cream dog the other day maybe I could do a bit of it when I switch back over to uh, one of the other guitars later in the stream Thank you. 
lovely light. Keep going in open C for a bit. And then similar to that, um, that's uh, Plum and Pear. Thank you. 
Captain Swift log, probably how many songs do I retain? Maybe about like, if I were to really, if I were to, if I were to be granted forgiveness uh, for like, you know, sudden, um, you know, having to change, you know, train tracks during the song, like cause sometimes I'll go into a new part and I'll go, oh yeah, I'll sort of remember it as I'm transitioning. I could probably go for like three hours, maybe four, four hours probably. But I mean, after about two hours, I mean, the energy levels start to go. Um, and some of them, if I sort of play it through once and kind of just however it comes out, it happens. And then I'll do it again and it'll kind of start to take shape again. So that was uh, country style etude in C. Before that was plum and pear. And then um, a lovely light. try best friend hold on a second I, I listen to my own music after I record it and kind of listen to it again and again and hopefully you know if something comes up I might go re-record a part and then I just drop it
How you doing, amigo Pedro from Russia? Yeah, I got a lot of listeners over there. I get, I get um, an email every week with like breakdown of listeners, and I always got quite a lot uh, of streams in, in Moscow. In Japan as well lately. Japan, Calgary, Moscow, Toronto. How you doing, big ugly boy? Don't mean to call you that, but that's where you got your name written. Yeah, so I basically have different uh, hyperboreal. Yeah, I basically have guitars with like, I have a couple of these within, that are in different tunings, or I can put them in different tunings because if they're nylon string, like forget about uh, going from one tuning to a drastically different one because it, you have to, it'll take like 15 minutes of like, well, maybe 10 minutes or so for it to like settling and to keep fine tuning it. What was I going to do with that? tune this.
good so i used to have this setup where it's like i had the stereo delay going into like two different channels on the mixer like through the effects loop like the guitar would go through the delay pedal but then i would also send the mic through the delay pedal through like the stereo output the problem is it created a ground loop and then it was like buzzing so couldn't do that so i shut off the mic and then just go direct what you hear is the direct guitar through the delay pedal um, yeah, because if I leave the mic on, then you'll hear too much of like the guitar signal and not enough of the delay. So that's the best I can do for a live of that. <laughs> Haven't met Ian because uh, I toured with the Candy Rat guys back in like 20, sorry, um, 2009 through 2012. A couple shows in 2013, 2014. <laughs> So, oh yeah, okay, time to reach in. Um. Still no sign of the woodpecker because it's too rainy out. All right, down to C minor do my nightmare and then I'll try in her dark den dance devils and then we can move on from there to C minor seven tuning and do like level five I'll try level five dancing with her is actually more together than level five but I can try level, level five it's funny some of these songs that I used to literally play like all the time as part of the set list or at open mics some of them are like I don't even remember some of my own oh machinery yeah I could have done could have, could have done an open C uh, sounds better on steel string though.
let's try my nightmare.
Yeah, so with that one, I did like a, a short a short version that repeated. And then the uh, like, like last year, within the last two years, I added a section to that. The, um, what is it? Uh, In Her Dark Den, Dance Devils. Because it always felt like I wanted to continue the song. So I was like, yeah, we have to finish that. Make it more complete. Going down to C minor seven now. I actually did play Winter by the Sea earlier, but when I switch back to the uh, steel string guitar, I can probably do that again. How long, how long have we been going here? An hour and a half. All right. We'll do Dancing with Her, and then we'll try the uh, we'll try level five. I haven't done that in a long time. This A sharp keeps going up. Come on. <clears throat> Maybe I'll try level five first, but I have to go over a couple parts. Bear with me here, okay? So. going out again. There. Like I said, nylon strings, when you retune them, the strings have a memory. They return to where they once were. Hold on, we'll get it. Let's see if we can do uh Thank you. 
Dr. Marcus Nascimento from Brazil. Um, okay, we got to do Dancing with Her. I can try Paganini set out for after uh, Dancing with Her and then tune the E flat down to a C. Um, mm -hmm. Radoslaw from Poland. Yeah, um, I actually play the pieces slower now because I don't use the thumb pick. With the thumb pick and the finger picks, it was actually easier to play faster. With the uh, with the finger nails instead on nylon string, I actually have to bring the tempo down and try and really focus. One, second, here we go. Mm -hmm. Just going through. All right, so we'll do Dancing With Her. Then we'll try a bit of Paganini Sip. And do I have... I have to get the guitar from the other room to try um, Blood and Ice. I can actually try, the, try it on the original guitar. We'll, we'll try it in a bit, but we got some time here. In fact, we got all day, so there's no rush. Yeah, so if it does lag and jump around, that's because of uh, I'm on Starlink Internet, Starlink, so it'll uh, bounce around uh, in terms of satellites. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, check it out. Wait, now it's time. The woodpecker, I believe, has arrived. Hold on one sec. Hold on. Uh, let me see here. Okay.
as you can see you took a large chunk and then went off all right give me one second and i'll be back Okay. There we go. Got a visit from the woodpecker live. Doesn't always happen. Sometimes look at him like three times, but he wasn't here all day. That's why he stayed for so long. Yeah, I know. And there's another one that'll uh, that'll like come right inside. Um, there's a downy woodpecker that'll come come inside the kitchen, and as well, there's a uh, yeah that one I call Mr. Harry Woodpecker. He is the longest uh, visitor I've had. He'll come right in the kitchen, especially during nesting season they get really um, bold. So I'll just be outside and he'll like just fly right up to me, land on me uh, and just be like, all right, where's it at? And uh, yeah. So he'll visit inside the kitchen in uh, springtime. That's when they're most bold during uh, nesting season. I almost had a pine warbler come inside the kitchen last summer. Oh, Candy Rat stopped by. How you doing, Rob? Robin Holly. One guy was like, why are there so few likes? Cause I, I'm shadow banned for wrong think. I'm on, I'm on to their louche farm. And they're like, all right, comments disabled. Dancing with, dancing with her. Let's see. Let me just take a quick look before I begin. So if the stream jumps around, it's because I'm on Starlink, and sometimes it uh, like bounces to another satellite, takes a second or two. Oh no, they have it now. <laughs> they have it now where um, like just certain key words or clusters of words and I mean, nothing profane at all. It just, um, it appears on your end, but if from any other account, you can't see it. And it happens all the time. There's forums, there's, there's forums of people expressing this all the time. Like my <laughs>
Taylor can try Dancing with Her 2010 as well, although that one's not as well in the memory than that one. Let's try, uh, oh, Paganini's Whiskey. That's like, I don't know, on nylon string, maybe on another guitar. I don't think it would sound. I played it a little bit. It's been on previous streams, but it's been a long time. Could I play it well? Nah. Like, I would play it like, okay. All right. Um, let, me just, let me just think about it. Um. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dancing with her 2010. So we got those out of the way. Hello to Dimitri from Russia. Thanks for tuning in. What is it, like two in the morning there? No, let me guess. Nine o'clock at night. Yeah, seven hours. Yeah, I guess seven, I'll guess seven hours. We'll say 9 p.m. Yeah, I do. I do uh, intermittent guitar streams with uh, visits from woodpeckers, and then every time I reach a new milestone with handling birds, videos will go up, and uh, and then I periodically record a multi-tracked guitar stuff. It's pretty much what I do. Since we're in this tune tuning, I can do springing back to life. Through the messages here. What are we looking at? Let's take a look. 121 concurrent viewers. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad for someone living in internal exile. Mon, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Lemonkai Mietka? It's the best I can do. Yasumaro. Japan. How you doing, Wade? Dane. Oh, easy, uh, even in gross beaks are back. Okay, let's do uh, springing back to life, shall we? Okay. <laughs>
yeah, so say pa Pagan and Ace haven't played it literally. Who knows how long? I did a show in Quebec like a couple years ago, and they wanted me to play it, and uh, I guess it went all right. And uh, I couldn't remember one of the parts. It's funny how that changes. It used to be a piece that I could literally play, like after like not sleeping for a day. Oh, what do you know? Okay, is this okay? We have a downy woodpecker now. Okay, hold on a second. If I can get there in time, we might be able to say hello. Let's try it. Okay, it's waiting. There we go. Downy woodpecker, female. That one's pretty friendly. So that was a, uh, a downy woodpecker, a female. Um, yeah. Oh, no, wait. Paganini's hit. Right, right, right. Set. Hold on. Uh, let's see here. man thanks very much all right well thanks for your support and we got i think i guess we'll say s z y susie maybe not though i don't know 
But SZY from Poland. Thank you. All right, let's see if I can... Okay, so it starts off. Okay, what was that question there? Yeah, Captain Swift log. Just um, natural harmonics. went to rock. Thank you, Lemonkai Mietka. <laughs> I mean, I can only imagine what people in Poland are saying when I pronounce that. But I, th that's what it sounds like when you pronounce it as though it's a contended for uh, an English reader. <laughs> nail buffers at the dollar store actually pretty good I go in there and I buy like 25 of them at once oh cool train trip across the country that sounds good Selenius We can turn it into an uh, an ASMR video where they get the <laughs> the sound of nails of being uh, nails being buffed. It's an AS ASMR video. but that heavy breathing stuff or the sound of someone's tongue moving inside their mouth when they talk none of that sounds like someone's eating mashed potatoes up to a, in front of a microphone once I hear that I'm done let it, let it 
can settle in. Try time or something. Yeah, with ASMR, it's all fine. I just don't want, I don't want to hear the sound of people eating mashed potatoes when they're talking. third album. All right, so I'll do time into uh into where are you? I played it earlier, but yeah.
So I muted the mic so I don't ASMR you with the sound of, you know, drinking that close to a mic. Okay, I gotta take a break from the finger style for a bit. I've been going at it for a while. Oh, two, two and a half hours in. Okay, hold on. One second. Euro dance. Hmm. <laughs> Um, discrete error. Um, all right. All right, we'll do that. But Eurodance, it would be messy. It'd be messy. I'll be, I won't lie, it'll be messy. Um, so how does that go again? So what do we got going on? Let's take a look. 139, okay. Okay, so we can try try discrete error, but I mean, I'm about an hour into uh, finger style stuff, but we'll see. Okay, let me just be sure I got it. And then. Thank you. 
uh, discrete error. Um, how you doing there? I'm not sure we have a, a two uh, character name here. Something it looks like AK, but it's not an A. Um, Spanish flamenco guitar, how do I feel about it? I enjoy it. Uh, what I actually, what's interesting about flamenco is that Scarlatti is a predecessor. Um, he, he comes from before uh, flamenco emerged in Spanish culture, but in his music uh, actually is our, I guess, fragments and idioms that appear in flamenco music. And so there's a documentary called Scarlatti, Man Out of Time, and they take one of his sonatas and they take a flamenco dancer, put her in the same room as the harpsichord, and she does this standard flamenco dance and it matches the music perfectly. So it's interesting that uh, he, he was like a couple hundred years before flamenco uh, emerged as a, as a, as a style. Um, but because Scarlatti lived in Spain for a while towards the end of his life, uh, he absorbed, I guess, the Spanish folk music that later evolved into flamenco music. So it's interesting. Madzia 7, how's it going? It's been a while. Um, let's see here. All right, so someone, Unreal Tournament? No, not lately. It's, uh, it's kind of been, it's on life support. Epic Games pulled the plug on it in terms of all the servers, and then someone actually just stepped in, and I guess they're funding it privately. But... Uh, no, not lately, because all the players that I know, they play late at night, really late, and I go to bed early, so it doesn't work. Okay, someone was asking about, someone from the Netherlands was asking about Eurodance. Let's pull up the tab here, because I said I can't, it's been like a long time, let's see here, Eurodance. What do we got going on? Um, all right, 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 oh, that's what it was. Tab here. It's been a while. Um, oh no, I missed a spot. I missed a part. It goes up high first. Oh right. picking thing what does it do it goes oh yeah <laughs>
that song is like ancient for me. All right, I'm going to switch it up for a sec. Yeah, if when it was uh, just the when it was the finger picks, I would use the thumb pick and sort of turn it on its side, and then use it as a flat pick. All right, one second here. Hold on. Um... Do a little bit of this.
That was uh, uh, K55. See you later, book from uh, the Netherlands. Yeah, that's uh, Sonata K55. All right, so let's just, so, someone saying K477, that I can do. Uh, yeah, so I d played that a bit earlier. I wanted, to, I wanted to try, I'm not sure if I can do it. Um,
That is uh, K160. Yeah, the Time 2 video ended up going on an instructional thumb drive that I sell. Um, it's got a lot on it with a bunch of tabs to make your own version of it and all that kind of stuff. All right, so someone said something about K-477. All right, so in order, that was K-55 and then K-160. And I can do uh, 477 again. Okay. But yeah, no, I love the way the, the, that piece uh, wraps up. No one can end a piece like Scarlatti. It's quite literally, he has the greatest endings possible. All right, 477. Haven't tried for, uh, 545, no. I know 113 is pretty intense. But then some of them are, the arrangements are so hard, you gotta wonder. It's like, one of the, thing, one of the things to consider about arrangements is that if it requires too much jumping around from position to position, even if you practiced all the time to make those jumps, it actually, you can actually hear it in the music that it breaks the continuity. And so I've had a couple of lessons with some really excellent classical guitar masters and they kind of pointed that out. Like, like yeah, you could play that piece, but here's the problem. And they, and they all, all of these, I guess, master level classical guitarists that I met with their advice is that um, if the arrangement demands so much technical um, work that you're jumping from position to position and it's pretty much evident that the piece isn't written for guitar. Um, to the ear, you can hear the straining of the sound because it, the shifting of positions too much, uh, is, it, it's unavoidable. The sound of the straining will come through and it breaks the continuity of the music. Yeah, and, and also if a piece is so difficult that you have to pretty much devote 90% of your practice time to playing it, you got to wonder about, you have to question efficiency or the, yeah, like to what degree is it, because it actually worth it. So we'll do 477. Okay.
uh, K-477. I was going to do 380, but I um, wasn't sure about it. One second here. Um, let me just find out what that says. <laughs> Uh, one second here, copy, and paste. Oh, thank you. So that's, we, it looks like we have someone from, it says Bulgarian. Okay, right on. Okay. Um.
so what are we at here? Three hours. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up soon. But um, a few things with the pick first, I guess. Okay, hold on one sec. Um, okay, one second. Uh, Okay, now. Someone was asking about Cream Dog earlier. I was actually working on uh, new fingerings for it because that just happens over time. I start playing it differently. Now let me pull it up here, just give you an idea. It's on Insomnomania, yes. Okay, so starting in case anyone has the tab for it and plays it. Right here. That's a part that I changed right here. I, I did it up here before. Uh, then I moved it down here. So I don't have to, so I don't have to pick across the strings, and then the next part, which is uh, as opposed to some of that cross string stuff, but yeah, that's all. That's what I was working on in that piece. But you know, it's not it's not ready to play yet. I was still actually in the process of learning it. Yeah, I know because uh, I was switching it from picking or picking across three strings to this. Just to make it easier playing between two strings and not across three. Seventh string, don't have it here, but yeah. I'm, I'm in the process of rearranging it. Um, hmm. All right, so, um, all right, so Lopez, uh, let's see here. So K55 uh, and K160 are my arrangements. And then the, uh, and 477, those three are my arrangements. The others, I just, I found sheet music on the internet and just changed a couple things. Yeah, no, I've run, I've pretty much run the set list through. I can repeat a couple things. Um, Cause I'm not sure if uh, there's probably some new people here that haven't been watching the whole thing. Um, hold on a second, let me go over here. 114, not bad, 118 viewers, okay. Give me one second here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. So we're three and a half hours in, almost three, three hours, 15 minutes. So I'm just going to do like, I don't know, I'll just repeat something and then 
call it a day. I usually do folk caprice number one. Let's do that one again. Richard Ferguson wants to see this guitar. This one here is a, uh, it's a Pepino D'Agostino Siegel artist series. It's not bad. It's, uh, the reason I like it is because the, um, the string spacing is like a 1.9 inch uh, nut. So it's like I got more space in between the strings for picking. It's actually designed for finger style, but I like it because I have the extra room inside the strings. So I'll do Winter by the Sea and then I'm going to call it because I'm running out, of, running out of energy. It's three hours and 16 minutes in. Not bad though, we got two visits from two different woodpeckers during the, uh, during the stream. So, winter by the sea, and then we'll call it a day. Thank you. 
call it there three hours 20 minutes it's only it's only um diminishing returns at this point in terms of energy levels but thanks everyone for coming and listening we've got let's let me just take a look here 119 average viewers not too bad uh cool all right so thanks a lot and uh, we'll see you again sometime. I'm gonna. Uh, I just gotta practice for this upcoming uh, upcoming three shows during this eclipse weekend. We have this uh, total eclipse, and um, it's passing directly over this area. And so they're having a whole bunch of events, and a lot of people are traveling into the area. Um, one of them is at this Unitarian Church in Holton, which is right across the border, like 30 minutes that way in Maine. And that's gonna be on the Sunday, but then next Saturday, which is the day before that, um, I'll be doing a recital at a place called Connell House in Woodstock, New Brunswick. It's like this, it's like a historical society building, really nice place to do a, to do a guitar show. And then on the Monday during the eclipse, I'm going to be playing, this is interesting, it's a meadery. They, they make mead, Viking honey wine, and they're opening up like a special barrel for the, for the eclipse. And they're giving me a whole bunch of, uh, of honey wine and, you know, a fee for the show and so I basically go and play for a meadery that's going to be pretty cool so it'll be a bunch of people sitting around you know enjoying life drinking honey wine drinking mead and then we'll watch the eclipse and then I'll keep doing the show so that'll be pretty it'll be sounds like it'll be a lot of fun